Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the latest episode of the Brave and Tinker podcast. My name is Melanie, and this is a video cast in which I talk mainly about knitting. It is Thursday morning, and I usually don't record on Thursday morning, but I've done some magic with my schedule and I think going forward Thursday mornings is like the day that I'm going to have time to record podcasts although I do so I have a four-year-old and his school is very involved um that they rely heavily on parent involvement which is you know fine by me and I, I do like being involved and um contributing so I signed up uh, to be a reading parent, I guess. And um, so every other Thursday morning I go to, um, well, I take my son to school anyway, obviously. And then um, for the first 20 minutes, I get a group of kids and I read a book or two with them. And um, I think it's part of a program to get kids to be more exposed to reading and stuff like that. And I really enjoy reading uh, to children and doing the voices and things because my mum always read to me when I was a child and it's definitely one of my most favourite memories um, as a child because she would always do like the voices and um, I don't know, I've just got really great memories about those books that we would read. So it's passing it on. Anyway, so that, um, I just finished doing that and then I cycled back home. Um, so <laughs> I'm a little bit flustered and not wearing any makeup because we had to rush out of the door this morning because, um, although I do like reading to kids, I am not a prepared, like, human person and, like, getting my son and myself dressed and on time at the school is a challenge for me. So, but we made it once again and, uh, all is good, I think. So, yay, I'm drinking, ooh, a giant coffee because I need one. This is, oh, it's really good. It's um, Ikea coffee. They have coffee at Ikea and you can buy the packets and it's really good. I also like the Starbucks coffee. Apparently they have like a full um, sort of flavored coffee and I might just cycle over to Starbucks in a bit to pick some up. I like Starbucks coffee, sorry. I don't think I'm the only one. Um, yes, what are we doing this week? I don't know, I'm a little bit chaotic. Um, but let me start with a finished object. Um, let's pop my coffee over here. Finished object, so um, a couple of weeks ago I went to the um, Oslo Knitting Festival and I bought some Garnsur yarn, which uh, was, I think, one of the few skeins of speckled hand-dyed yarn. And my plan was to uh, design and knit a pair of socks with that. And so I did. <laughs> and I literally banged them out super, super fast. Um, and they are hiding on my desk. And let me... Let me just grab one. This is probably the most <laughs> pleasantly arranged. So these are the socks and let me just squish this over to the side because they have um, two eyelet rows here that give like a little kind of snaky effect and then there's a bunch of these um, circles. It's a cable cross stitch in a particular way that um yeah that I've done to make this sort of effect I think these socks are really really beautiful and so I have written down the pattern I have sent it out to test knitters and a test knitters have my test knitters have been fabulous and um I'll put some photos in here of the beautiful work they've done but so this pattern is, I would say, 95% finished and I am going to be publishing it on Ravelry and it will be online next week, Thursday, so that is October 10th. The Odeline Socks, Ravelry, October 10th. I 
really really enjoyed every part of designing these socks and knitting them and um, I'm really super pleased with the stitch pattern because it is something that I think I'll knit many more times because it's extremely effective in how pretty it looks but it's not hard to memorize at all um, so it, for me it was really a fun uh, thing something I really enjoy knitting it looks really good I think it works really well in this yarn this is the Yor de Plu yarn by Garnsur I still have the ball band it looks like I'm really prepared it's not I just keep everything on my desk so this is Garnsur and this is the name of the this yarn uh, Garnsur is a Norwegian yarn company that gives um, that trains migrant women uh, to do uh, to dye yarn to give them a job and a better opportunity of building their life in Norway um, so that's a fantastic company and I love supporting them and I'm really excited that you know that company is sort of featured in this stock pattern um, if you go to my Instagram account, it's at Braid and Tinker. There are many more um, photos in my grid and also because I've made some stories with photos that I've made and photos from test knitters. And there is a like a collection on my profile page that goes to all the stories because I've saved them for the uh, Odeline socks. And yeah you can just see them and see them in different yarns and different colors and I think uh it's so interesting to see when you've when you've created a design and then you give it to other people and then they knit it in different types of colors and different types of yarns it's so interesting to see and it's so fun to see something that you made and then you put it out in the world and then people sort of like grab it and run with it I love that part so October 10 next week on Thursday Odeline socks I will have a discount code for uh, YouTube viewers so I will put that in next week's video Thursday morning as well um, and then yeah and then that weekend after uh, that, so it's Thursday, and then that weekend it's Canadian Thanksgiving. So I thought it would be good to like have a discount code and then people in Canada. <laughs> I don't know how many are watching this podcast, but who knows? Um, you can knit your own lean socks all weekend, so yay. Um, oh, let me just tell you about the name, because the name for the socks is... I've been reading this book called uh, Witches of New York, and... It's not really a character in the book, but it's like a sub story in within the book about uh, a princess called Odeline. And I really like that name and it just kind of stuck in my brain. And then together with this yarn, whilst I was designing the chart, it just kind of popped and it all came together. So that's why they're called the Odeline socks. So, yay, <laughs> that's that. I have uh, no more finished objects. I have some very almost finished objects. Um, these are some more socks. I bought some, um, so I said I was going to do this, but I bought some Dr. Martin boots, leather boots for fall and winter. And um, because I want to wear them with knitted socks, I bought, because I have a difficult size foot uh, my feet are size European 40 and a half which is hard to find so I usually buy 41 and then they're like a smidge too big but because I wear knitted socks it's actually fine so I bought size 41 um, and I just want to have a ton of commercial yarn socks because they're in a boot you don't really see them they do I mean I think they're just going to wear out quite quickly and commercial yarn is a little bit more resistant to wear and tear I find and then especially this yarn this is West Yorkshire Spinners and 
um, their socks are made with blue face Leicester instead of um, merino. Um, so it's a bit, yeah, a bit more resistant to wear and tear, I would say. And I have no idea what these socks, what colorway this is. I think I have the ball band somewhere. Maybe not here. Anyway, it didn't have a name on it, so I have no idea what this colorway is. But I really, really like it. It has lots of browns and greens and blues, so they look very autumnal. Um, yeah, my mum got me these. She bought them in Brighton. I asked her for a sock yarn, and then she got these. So, yay. I really like this. And... Um, what else am I knitting on? I'm still knitting on my... Oop. Okay, and this is going to be super awkward because it's all bunched up on the needles. But I'm still knitting on my Marley shawl that I am knitting out of Pickles yarn. And I kind of quit halfway through a row because that's the thing that I do. So I'll just like hold it up. This is half of it. It's the other half um so it's getting quite big um but i really like that because when you're knitting on it it's it kind of lies on your lap like a little blanket so yay it's very i don't know it smells so sheepy and squishy and it's i don't know i just want to wear it i just want to finish it but I also know that I want it really, really big, so I'm just gonna, I just put it away sometimes so that I'm not too focused on finish, finish, finish. If I put it away and then pick it, pick it back up, it just feels like something that I am knitting on on a regular basis. And then I don't feel that rush to go, oh, I need to finish this super quickly, finish it. Even though I do want it finished. <laughs> Brains are funny. Um, yeah, so I'm knitting this out of Pickles Yarn. This is their Merino Tweed in a Forest Green. And this is their... Oh, I don't remember what this is called. I have it here. This is their Pure Wool. Pure Wool in Burnt Orange. And I picked these two to go together. The pattern is the Marley Shawl. And it's a Brioche Shawl. Um by Andrea Maori. This is, as far as brioche goes, this is very doable, I would say. It's not a complicated pattern. Um, you need a little bit of brain space. If you've never done brioche before, if you've never done brioche before, you need like a little bit of brain space to kind of get into the doing the brioche. But after that, it's really easy. Um, it's quite mindless and fun. And you just need to pay attention to do the increases every few rows here in the center spine and then also at both ends there is some increasing but yeah other than that it's just kind of keep on going and then um, at the end it has like a, a garter stitch border so that's still going It will be going for quite a while, I think. Um, what else am I knitting on? So, my son always sees me knitting uh, and then he's like, is that for me? And then I almost always have to disappoint him because I do quite like knitting for myself. Um, but yesterday, last night, I didn't feel like knitting on any of my projects. So I cast on um, a pair of socks for him this is um oh what's this called again where's the ball band oh i think i have it in my pocket here we go this is um some patterns croy that derek picked up for me in canada recently and it is the sunburst stripes colorway and i guess i could see that it kind of have has that effect and my plan is, because I only have one of these and they're 50 grams. Now, it doesn't really matter because these are kid socks. But my idea is to just knit one giant tube as if I was my own personal um, sock machine. <laughs> just knit a giant tube. I started with a cuff. I'll end with a cuff. 
and then um, add heels and toes later to sort of maximize um, the amount of yarn that I can get out of it, even though I'm not worried at all because he's a four year old and 50 grams is plenty uh, to get a pair of socks for a four year old, four, uh, four year old. Um, so yes, um, but I really like this like rainbow color. It's really his thing. He loves like bright colors and stuff like that. So I think he'll be very, very happy with that. So um, I think that's in terms of knitting. It is not. It's like exciting because today it is doo -doo -doo -doo, Thursday, October 3rd. And um, tomorrow, October 4th, is D-Day. Let me just grab them. It's a bit more coffee. So um, tomorrow... Stephen West is launching the, um, I, I never know how this is, so the pattern is called the Starflake or something, um, but it is his 2019 mystery knit along. And I don't do mystery knit alongs, um, but for some reason uh, I got roped into doing it this year. Um, Julia, who I spent time with at the Oslo Stricker Festival, Knitting Festival, and her friend Marion, convinced me that I needed to participate in the West Knits Mystery Knit Along 2019. And I have another friend, um, Anouk, who I used to work with her uh, long, long ago, but we are both knitters and therefore we are still <laughs> in good contact. And she's a big Stephen West fan. And so, yeah, it's, you know, I didn't know it was coming because I, oh, there's a doorbell. Ah. Sorry, that was a doorbell. There was um, a delivery person. <laughs> oh. We have um, a bike rack rack in our living room and I recently got a bike so that I can cycle to work every day and I've been waiting for some rain gear that I ordered online as well because it, it's been raining like crazy here absolutely bananas um but we also needed some extra stuff for the bike rack so that the because my bike has like a little mount on the front so that I can put my backpack in there um, to cycle to work and yeah the thing just needs to be a little bit bigger and higher and different and so Derek ordered some more stuff so that he can work on that I guess this weekend I'm not entirely sure um, I'm not really in a rush to get that thing finished but yeah whatever um, I was talking about something oh yes so um, tomorrow um, it's the uh, Stephen West Mystery Knit Along 2019 and the pattern is apparently called Starflake I think Snowflake no I think Starflake and um, there was like a, it, some instructions that you needed four skeins of two colors so two colors of one two colors no two skeins of color a two color two skeins of color b and so i bought some yarn for that at the um oslo knitting festival and i got some of the stephen west yarn west wool in the bicycle um weight which is i think the fingering weight even though to me this is definitely dk but whatever um and this color. So I got these two colors together and I skeined the first two balls um, yesterday or the day before. And then I knit a swatch. Um, and I needed, because the pattern suggests size 3.75. Um, but I know that Stephen West is a loose knitter. I knit quite tight. So I um, took uh, the advice from Anouk, my knitting friend, to um, go up one needle size. And 
so I knit a, the swatch out of um, four millimeters and that was fine so it might still be like I think out of like 22 stitches I'm like half a stitch too small I could go up to four and a half millimeters for the needles but I don't want to and um, I'm sure because it's like four skeins of yarn I'm sure it's going to be giant anyway so it, it doesn't really matter if it's like a smidge smaller than other people's I just don't want it to be tiny right so um I have some acquisitions um I bought a book I don't really often buy anything books but I do like them I'm so sorry I just haven't had coffee yet so I'm constantly like trying to caffeinate myself um so this is um I got this book because I was um planning to add my Marley shawl in the Woolen Vine Practical knit along on Ravelry and I was looking through stuff that other people had made for that or were planning to make and somebody made a sweater out of this book I'm not sure if I can find the sweater super quickly oh here it is so this is the ginger snap pullover and she had posted this picture uh, this person had posted this picture of that sweater in the Ravelry thread and said it was from this book called Coffee House Knits and I was like oh coffee knits I need that so I bought this book and it has so many great patterns um, that have are like coffee I would say the coffee experience style or it's inspired by or it has a ton of things hats um socks shawls there is a really nice shawl by melody hoffman the soho shawl in here which is um knit out of a chunky yarn and just looks really soft and nice and yeah i might make that so there's a ton of stuff. There's like a couple of sweaters and um, cardigan, shawls, hats, as I said. I think two pairs of socks, stuff like that, mittens. There's so much stuff in here and it's all like really, I don't know, that feel good coffee, coffee place vibe going on. So yeah love this book um I think I got it on Amazon it's from Interweave so it should be pretty widely available and I have some more uh <laughs> more purchases um Julia from the happiness in podcast um told me about this website called hobby h-o-b-b-i-i -I. um and i think they're like a european company or danish company or something and they sell lots of um lots of like cheaper yarns they have a ton of acrylic but they also have um woolen yarns and um uh, like project bags and accessories and this type of thing and you kind of it's kind of one of those websites where you kind of need to keep an eye out of, on it because they'll have like these crazy sales and then things are like super heavily discounted out of nowhere and then it kind of you know it kind of goes away again after a few days so she notified me that they had a sale on their project bags and they have these um, I would say fringe style project bags and they're usually um, quite reasonably priced anyway they're about 40 euros um, so yeah I guess it's not the cheapest but it's definitely cheaper than a fringe bag um, and they were this one weekend super heavily discounted to around 14 euros so I had to get one and I got this it's like a beigey in real life it's kind of like a movie beigey type bag i put on a, a little halloween pin um and it comes whoo 
they come with um, a little pouch to put uh, needles in and th so they have this beigey color a gray color and um, a black color but I really like this one there's like a zip zippered pouch on the outside super useful and then the difference is is that the handle is not on the side but it's on the back so I don't know I just really like this color and so I thought it was really good that it was discounted so I got this one and then I got one from my sister um, who is also a knitter and then I noticed they also had like a ton of sock yarn on this website so I just grabbed some of these 50 gram balls and it's called the happy feet print version sock yarn and they are 75 percent superwash wool and 25 percent nylon so it's just a bog standard um sock yarn and it says on the back um designed in scandinavia made in asia so these were pretty affordable i would say i really really like these colors so we're very excited to try these out and report back on how they hold up i think that's it for this week so um just a little recap um October 10th on a Thursday I will launch my very very first knitting pattern on Ravelry for the Odeline socks. I feel like um, one of those you know from the 90s you had these game shows on television where people could like do something or guess something and then they would win like appliances and they would always have like a lady in a fancy outfit with very blonde hair and she would be like it's a microwave I feel like that anyway uh Odeline socks um October 10 and come back here first because I will have a discount code for them on the YouTube channel not on Instagram just on YouTube for you lovely people and um tomorrow 4th of October we can all start on our mystery knit along for the Stephen West shawl so that will be super 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 exciting and um, I need to remember that whatever I put on the YouTube channel for that and for Instagram uh, I'll give a little spoiler warning because I don't want to spoil I know people just put whatever on Instagram so if you don't want to be spoiled by this pattern um just stay away i would say for a little bit um it would be nice if everybody could warn each other about possible spoilers because some people are you know faster knitters than others um but yeah i will try and do my best to give spoiler warnings where applicable i hope you had a good time this was a very i feel crazy and rushed and interrupted episode but um anyway it's what we have it's a thursday morning it's um it's one of those days have a lovely time knitting it's almost the weekend we're nearly there and i'll see you all again next time bye <laughs>